649 is your time now. We're seeing uh, the rainfall, the heavy rainfall is starting to move out of the area. Still seeing some heavy rain down around South Padre Island this morning. Uh, eastern portions of Cameron County, eastern portions of Willacy County, and the roadways are slick out there. So be aware of that. With the time change, I keep bringing that up. Still dark out there, so you could come across some roadways that are not necessarily flooded, but you know, you get in some of those low, low lying areas, just go a little bit slower through them. Otherwise, it can cause a little bit of a problem to the roadways as well. Uh, just take it a little bit slower this morning and give yourself a little extra time to get to your destination. So there is the latest radar. So uh, Rancho Viejo, San Benito, around Rio Hondo, Los Fresnos getting just deluged right now with heavy rain just to the south of Bayview, just to the south of South Potter Island. Seeing some very heavy rainfall right now. And there have been some lightning strikes as well. In fact, some fierce lightning at times as those showers and storms move through the area. And we heard it definitely here at our studios. Not only do you hear the rain, but we sure heard that thunder as well. Some light rain lingering there in eastern Hidalgo County. Other than that, it is drying out quickly west to east across the area and still seeing some of that moderate rain there around Port Mansfield. Still some lightning with those showers and storms as well as they move gradually over towards the Gulf waters. A rainfall estimates for the last 24 hours. Uh, anywhere you see yellow is radar estimating up around at least an inch of rain. You start getting into those shades of orange and now we're seeing rainfall estimates over two inches. Uh, so this was great rainfall to see out there. We did have a couple of aerial flood advisories yesterday because the rain was coming down so fast. Uh, but for the most part, we all fared pretty good with the rain getting a chance to kind of soak in throughout the afternoon, evening and overnight hours and seeing some of that heavy rainfall going westward on Highway 83 as well. So once this all moves out of the area, we'll have just a small chance of some isolated to widely scattered showers around today. So these 60 and 70 percent numbers will drop off to 20 percent over the next half hour or so. And it's just going to be cool then for today. So 71 today, 62 tonight, uh, then 83 with breezy conditions tomorrow. The humidity comes back in full force tomorrow as well. 35 to 40 mile an hour winds tomorrow and on Friday. And then other than that, just a warm, I say downright hot uh, weekend. Temperatures close to 90 by Sunday, Monday and into the 90s on Tuesday. So stay safe out there, folks. The roads are a mess. Um, but the heaviest stuff now is moving into eastern Cameron and Wilsey counties and over the next half hour we'll be out over the Gulf waters.